Republican hopefuls are in Atlanta right now taking part in the gathering, which is a yearly event held by radio host Eric Erickson featuring conservative political leaders. This year's theme is forward. Which way? Let's go live to Robert Sherman, who's been watching all the action for us. Say, hey, Robert. Hey there, Kelly. Just broke for lunch here a short while ago, but Eric Erickson, the host, has been emphasizing that main emphasis on this event here this year is to hear from a lot of the candidates Republican voters have not heard as much from those people other than the former president. So it is a big list of GOP hopefuls who are out here today. You've got uh, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. You have uh, former Vice President Mike Pence, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley, and an interesting one, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, who is not running for president, but of course has been very vocal about his views of the former president, been very outspoken about what he thinks the future of the party should be. And that's exactly what he told this crowd here, saying he wants them to not look backwards to 2020, but forward. Listen to this. You can believe whatever you want about the 2020 election. That is your right. I understand that. I have no problem with that. But the thing is, that was three years ago. And if you're still mad about that, quit complaining about that. Sign up to be a poll worker, be a poll watcher, get involved in the process, door knock, phone call, be, do something that will help us win. But make no mistake about it, you look at the polls, it is the former president in command with over 50% of support nationwide. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis distantly back around 15%. Vivek Ramaswamy third, former Vice President Mike Pence fourth, and then the rest of the pack polling at less than 5%. But we're going to hear from a few more names tomorrow. That includes former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, Vivek Ramaswamy, and another interesting one, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin, who definitely has support in some Republican circles. We'll see what they all have to say tomorrow. Kelly? All right, that'll be one to watch, Robert. So almost the entire GOP field is there ahead of the debate. So who's qualified for Wednesday's debate so far? Yeah, a lot of the names that we're hearing from this week, of course, you have the former president who has hit a lot of those benchmarks, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Bass UN Nikki Haley, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, Chris Christie, Vivek Ramaswamy, Mike Pence, all of them have qualified and are here. Uh, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum is not here this weekend, but he has qualified for that debate stage. And then one more, Mayor Suarez of Miami says that he has hit those thresholds and anticipates that he'll be on the debate stage when Wednesday. That's another interesting name to that we'll all be watching here as everyone is going to have their focus on that debate stage. The big name that we know that will that will potentially not be there, though, is the former president. He's not said definitively either way, but definitely left the door open to skip it. Kelly. All right. A dynamic field. Robert Sherman. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.